Did you watch UFC 266? I did watch UFC You watch it in your green room? Or did you watch it uh, last I night? I watched it in my green room, in fact. And I watched, uh, and I, I think, I was so impressed with Nick Diaz. I, I just, his boxing and his, mm. you know, I thought he did a great job. But mm -hmm. um, I just think, you know, he broke his nose. I think he got hit too hard. And he was like, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> I don't want to do this. Yeah. I'm going to take a seat. Yeah. And he's the only, he's one of the few people that can quit. And we just go, you're still such a badass. Yeah, know? I mean, online he's getting trash for it. People call him a is quitter, he? which is weird. Well, really? Hilarious. Yeah, which is so stupid. Hilarious. That guy's earned that. But also, it took six years off. And yeah. then going into the fight, he was nervous I was too. talking with it. our boy about it. I'm like, man, Diaz seems off. He's like, no, that's why we love Diaz. Typical stuff. I'm like, no, he really doesn't seem like he wants to do it this mm -hmm. time. And they see in the fight, like, he showed a good fight. Definitely looked like he took six years off. Definitely looked 38. Uh -huh. Like, that wasn't a young, vintage Nick Diaz. No. And I think there are some red flags. I was telling Chin on Blow Belt, there's all these red flags leading up to it. And we're just like, ask ah, Nick Diaz. He'll be fine. And then he gets in there. Why? Because he was basically saying, I don't want to fight. He mm -hmm. said that before, and then yeah. he's game once he yeah. gets in there. He just hates yeah. all the buildup. Yeah. But then you see, like, when he was in the octagon, he almost forgot to take his shirt off and get Vaseline. So you're like, all right, he's not mentally checked in. And then he gets in there, and then usually he's, like, scowling at the guy and, like, look at him and, like, flip him off no matter who it is. This time he's looking at the mat. Most of the time he's looking at the mat. And then, you know, through that weird wheel kick that you could throw, you know. And then <laughs> zooming in, just kind of taking shots. And then I think the other red flag is the UFC made it five rounds. Why the fuck would you make it five rounds? I mean, guys first day back years. in six years. How crazy is that? So I think with Nick, I don't think it's quitting. He's like, <clears throat> all right. I've thrown so much volume at this guy. He's not going. He keeps coming forward. I mean, hit with shots. Yeah. All right. And I have two more rounds. I'm not, dude, I'm not. And he's very conscious of CT and injury. I'm sure. And he's like, fuck this. How much? And then also what else? And I'd love to know the backstory. Jake Shields came out and was like, Nick's such a, you know, legend. He took this on six weeks notice. He didn't say he didn't want to take the fight, but someone was like, oh, you're hinting Nick didn't want to be in there. And Jake just responded back, snakes everywhere. Meaning, like you, you know, like people forced to take because yeah, I think he was the highest paid on the card. Wow! Oh. So, so there's something. I, look, going I love on that there. he got paid, but you can see his face. He's taken a fuckload of damage over the years. So you're talking about a guy who's never stopped tr working out, by the way, in training. He's been in, he's been boxing marathons. Yeah, I don't know if he's been boxing, I think marathons. he has been boxing jiu-jitsu. I was very impressed with his boxing. Actually, I thought he connected a shitload with Robbie Long. That's bop bop all Robbie the just, like Robbie, one of Robbie's for five of his is the way it goes. Yeah, like it just I mean, a Robbie does. He headhunts. Yeah. He's a, a killer. Yes. A monster. Yeah. I just, yeah, I think people got to realize too, you know, when like, oh, he did it for money. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Every, everybody in here, everybody in here was, okay, like, you guys can get paid if you don't have to come in. Nobody's coming in. He's been, yeah. So for him, it's like, yeah, of course he got to pay. Yeah. It's a mm -hmm. fucking job. And, but then also, because he has such a loyal fault and following stuff like that, it's also like, you know, when he was big in his prime, guys weren't getting paid, dude. So he can't just ride off on the sunset and count no. his dollars. No. Like he needs oh, this sure. money. He sees his brother getting big money and he's like, what the fuck? The Let biggest me. money. Yeah. Fighting Connor, yeah. So so he's like, it, so it, it makes financial sense. I do not think he would ever fight if he didn't kind of have to or didn't see mm -mm. millions of dollars. And I will always watch. But Nick I want to know what's going on with his team. I don't know if you're going to see Nick Diaz again. I don't know. I don't think his team, I don't think anybody can control Nick Diaz. I think Nick Diaz's genius is the, the fact that he's just such a such an anomaly. He's such a and that's fine, but the, but yeah, and the, then those fighters end up broke with CT. That's right. So he needs people around him who need to set things up for him. So that brings me to the Brian Ortega fight. And he's only lost two fights. Yeah, he's taking and, a lot of and, damage. Though. And he should have that. And I, in my opinion, th this is a incredibly talented fighter. You know, he's willing to die in there. And I think that fight should have been stopped oh, in no. the third fucking round. No. Oh, you're Because he, he got the guilty and they got the triangle. I don't round. give a shit. Oh, no, that's, I, that's so he silly. took so much damage. Not in a title fight. And he was taking crazy damage. And I don't see, I don't see, think the juice is worth the squeeze. You take, you, you could possibly, first of all, you got brain damage. You also can take a lot of time off his life. In that fight, yes, he might get lucky. He wasn't getting beat up that bad. Really oh, they should have stopped dude, that. His face. Think. Okay, so. So all I know is this. The doctor was there for at least a minute longer. Herb Dean came over and goes, what's going on? Because mm -hmm. apparently he was answering the questions wrong. Mm -hmm. When they were doing this, his, he, he was asking him just to follow with his eyes, keep his head still. He went like that. That's a sign that something's going on and you're not seeing things. I just hate you seeing that. You can't do that in a title fight. You, can't, you just can't be. Oh, man. Well, that, then I, this ain't for you. You it, know what I'm saying? Not it's me. not for you. It's not for me. That's why then, then I like boxing more. Because boxers, a boxer, if you're getting your head kicked in like that, they'd stop the fight. 
And for me, if you got it, it's the, it's the Ayer Rodriguez thing. You got a young guy like that with that much promise, that much marketability as your corner. Oh, and I'm sorry. Also, they had to help him off the canvas, which is illegal. If your team has to help you off, it's called a TKO. You're not allowed to do that. They helped him off. Nobody saw that. And they walked him back to the thing. And I, I, I in my opinion, this kid's going to fight every time. But I think he was like, how do I deal with this fucking pressure? You know he's not dealing with the pressure well. Who? Uh, Ortega. Yes, he answered back, but that fucking Volnowski, for whatever reason on that night, is a killer mm -hmm. and, is, and is putting on that kind of pressure and that so kind of So do you damage. just always throw in the towel when it's not going your way? When it's, when it's, a, when it's a kid with that much fight in so, it, so let's, I stop it. 100% so, I stop so it. So here's the 100%. thing, dude. So, so let's say we take your thing, and you could not be a coach for this reason. So Brian Ortega, his first fight, his first five fights in the UFC, he was down on all scorecards right. and pulled off a submission in the third round. Cool. And that's how you got to title I shot. I got you. And so he almost did it again. So, yep. Almost, yep and that's, almost this is again. MO. So now let's go off what you want to do. He wouldn't have a career. You would have stopped those fights before he pulled it off. Well, it, it was so stopped. You, you, you'd been First of all, it was stopped. He did have a fight. It was stopped. What was it against? Uh, uh, Max. Max. So that was, that was smart. They stopped that, taking that kind of damage. When I, see, when I see his head that swollen and he's not answering questions properly, I'm stopping that fight. And I'm stopping that fight. The, the audience wants to fight. They're, they're laughing with blood in their mouth. I mm -hmm. get it. At the end of the day, I see brain damage, and I see taking years off his career. Now, he won that fifth round. I do not care. And look at his face. So boxing would stop face. that so we're just fight? Going oh, off his face? Yeah, boxing would, yeah. He was taking such a beating. Now, now real quick, um, there's been more deaths in boxing than there's MMA. Just yeah, so that's you know. fine. That's yeah. fine. Uh -huh. Way more. Not even yeah. close. But oh. boxing's also been around longer. There's a lot of things about boxing. It's no, no, I've no, seen, I've no, seen no, a no, 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 I forget no, who that hold, fighter no, was. No, hold on, no, hold on. There's been more deaths in boxing in the past five years than mm -hmm. there has in MMA. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was a recent one where they, 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 I can't remember the boxer's name. They, uh, his uh, corner had stopped the fight, and dude ended up dying uh, maybe that night or like the next, the next day or something like that. Yeah. The, the point of boxing is constantly hitting with MMA. You got wrestling. It's three rounds. Yeah, it's yeah, five yeah. Rounds. But the, the point's but, hit my, the my point but, is But my like, point so is, those fights you were talking about, was, yeah. he, was he getting as much damage as he was on, Which on this fight? Which ones? Well, the ones where you said he, he, he scored low. He's getting fucked up, yeah. He's been, he was, he's okay. been through some and fucking He pulls it out wars. because but his he, submission game's insane. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And he almost, I mean, Volkanovski said in the uh, post press conference, he's like, "That's the closest I've ever been to being choked out." Yes. He's like, "I was gargling," and, was he, and he's like, "Giving my head." I was like, "Well, this is how it goes. Yeah, I'm gonna lose my belt. Here we go." <sighs> and then he's like, "By the just grace of God, willpower, I powered through," and he let go. So his corner probably just knows, like, "Oh, or this is Ortega." So, like, so again, it, it's actually to my point. Ortega's insanely talented. Yeah, he could be a champion, not yet, maybe mm -hmm. could be, or certainly will always be that guy with that crazy game. So what you do is you stop the fight, you stop the fight in the third round. Uh -huh. He wants to keep fighting. Everybody's like, "What the fuck? You should have kept it going for this reason." You have more fight left in you. I don't know what those two mm -hmm. rounds where he was taking another hundred shots to the head is going to do to his long term career. It's just That's not the game, B. It's just not the it's game. It's got to be the game. It's not the game. It should be the game. Then don't watch fighting. No, you're wrong. I'm, not. I'm sorry, he but he won it the is fifth the round, game. Brian. It doesn't it matter. It does. That means he still cost? could compete. At what cost? Uh, are you talking about getting, you're, so you're worried about guys getting hurt? I'm worried in about the US. I'm worried about I'm worried about, about when you see him. when you see a dude who's it's not what for whatever reason. For oh, it's you don't sign up for that. You don't? You don't sign up for that. All of us sign up for that. No. Not that kind of thing. If your corner can't see, fight, if your corner the can't third see, round, yes. If your corner insane. can't see mm -mm. that you're getting your head kicked in that way, mm -mm. then there's something wrong. It, it, because because you you can you have a lot more fight left. There are more fights for him. Now we want to see it. Now we go like this, business wise, even even business wise. We if go, you stop that fight. You stop third? that fucking fight. We want to see that again. Oh no, uh -huh. you know that's what we no, want to do. No, the UFC oh, goes. Like a, uh, no, the UFC yeah. can go. You're never in a title fight again. You're down on the cards and get beat, and you throw in the towel. He's never going to get a towel shot again. That's not the way well, the business I, works. What do you mean? Because they stopped it. Because yep, Dana's not going. Yeah, so Dana's going to punish the corner. Guarantee it. I Guarantee it. I don't know about that. If you just throw in the towel every time your fighter's losing, I'm not talking about every time. I'm talking about when your fighter's getting fucking crushed in the head right. like that, and he wakes and he walks up and he can't see, it, and they have to take an extra minute and a half or whatever to ask him because he's answering questions wrong. Get the fuck out of here. Herb Dean had to come over there, and Herb Dean is not allowed to do this. So two things happen. Two things happen that are illegal. One, Herb Dean said, how many fingers do I have up? He yeah. holds up one. Okay? The th second well, thing no, I Herb, heard Herb, him. Herb, that's not illegal. I don't believe the ref is allowed to do yeah, that. Of no, course I don't think is. the ref is no, actually he, allowed to do uh, that. 100% Herb is allowed The doctor do that. does that. I don't no, think he the doesn't. Can do Herb that. can do that. And if he says, I can't see, that. they bring in the doctor. Yeah. 
And then if the doctor well, does the it doctor, and he says, I can't see, so they stop all, the fight. So first of all, the doctor was taking a long time. In my opinion, the doctor was there asking him questions. Okay? Something was going on, and Vol Volonovsky yeah, said yeah. he was answering the questions wrong. That's why Herb Dean came over and goes, what's going on? That's what he says. Okay. So now, now then I hear Brian Ortega go, yeah, I, 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 I'll be all right, or something like that. To me, man, it was just, it was, and, and the biggest thing is when I saw them have to help him off the mat and walk him to the stool. Shit. Get the fuck out of here, man. I was like, that's. Oh, like in between rounds? Look, yeah. And, and that again, could be exhaustion, too. I would suggest also that if you want to do that, okay, I think that took, I think that shortened his career. And is that worth it? Okay. And if you say that's the game, I, I don't agree, but okay. I mean, yeah. I but what if you ask Brian Ortega and he says, if you would have stopped, I would have fired all you. You don't ask that motherfucker. He's a, he's a warrior. He'll die on there. That's not who you ask. Never ask a fighter. They'll die. So you ask the coaches. Yes, yes. The, the coaches are there to protect you. The coaches should see that that is, live to fight another day. You're young. You're a badass. You have mm -hmm. huge market share. Let's protect the goose that lays the golden egg. That's what I think. I would have 100% stopped you just can't. I'm, I'm, I'm with you for the safety. You just can't. Yeah. Not seeing anything definitive. Yeah, I believe that that is apparently not. Mm. You're not allowed to do that. But he, but you said even after this beating, he was close to like choking him out. Look, the dude's yeah. incredible. Yeah, I'm gonna try. He was, he was yeah, and he, and he and, was and he won, fighting so back. So let's say he stopped in the third or take him won the fifth round, and it was one of the uh, rounds of the year. And he got a so, mm -hmm. and this is the other thing. So they're in it for money, right? Yep. They're prize fighters. Yep. So if you stop that fight, you you're ineligible for the fight of the night, right? And he got fight of the night, so he got an extra fifty thousand sure. dollars, which is a ton of money too. Okay. Yeah, I, I, not worth it, but okay. You know, all of it's. I, I have a big problem with it. I would fighting. It. I would have stopped it. Yeah. You should stop it when you have something. When you see that, it, that you, you just can't. And do, I, it, maybe That's it why was, you have doctors, you know. Yeah. The, well, the doctor didn't stop it. Mm. Yeah, he might have been inexperienced and a little bit influenced by the crap. Yes, mm. it was a dumb but, thing but for even, the doctor mm. not to do. But even with him stupid, saying, you can't watch it. Be, it was you know what I'm saying? It's not, not to fight, stop that fight. It's not. He round. won the fifth round. If he would have got beat up in the fifth, I would have agreed with he him. He did get beat up. He, he won got, the fifth took, round. It doesn't matter. He took so much more. No, it does damage. matter. The judges it, gave him the fifth. round. He took round. so much more damage in those last two rounds. And by the way, but yes, it, his it's also a title fight. This isn't a regular fight night. This is. Everything that he's dreamed of. Don't care. The title fight. Don't care. Not for you. Live, live, you can't live, be a coach. To, live to fight another title mm -mm. fight. It's his second time you a title shot. The chance of him getting back there is not great. Maybe, maybe it's just one shot. shot's not for him. You know, maybe that maybe that's the case. Well, not if you're his coach. I'll never get yeah. it. No. He'd live to fight more and he wouldn't have brain damage. I mean it's what they do, B. No. No. Brain damage? You, 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 there is a way to protect somebody from getting that kind of brain damage. Uh, not, not a title fight. If I'm, I'm with you, if it's a regular like fight night, like main event, but for a title fight, you can't. You just can't. Yeah. Well, you can't. Then, then I don't That's like not the it. game. Yeah. yeah, I don't. I don't like it more any more than you do. That's yeah. just not the game. It's just not what these guys do. It's just not. Yeah. It's well, not what they sign up for. It's a brutal for. sport. It's the yeah. brutalest sport. Yeah, it really is. Yep. It it bums me out. It fucking really does. It bums me out. Yeah, it's a tough. He's guy. such a he's that kid is, is young and such a good looking kid and so talented and mm -hmm. I hate that shit. I just hate it. It's fucking dangerous, man. When you see these guys connecting, like Volanovsky is such a fucking animal. Oof. King, king, king. Yeah. Just, you know, yeah, that's mixed martial arts at the highest uh, level. You know, I guess so. It's just what it is. Is yeah. there a way to not get hit in the face that much if you're Brian Ortega? It takes a lot. He could of change his fighting his style. Yeah. Well, it's, but so could Nick Diaz. Like, how do you not have this argument for Nick Diaz? Although, I, I'll tell you what I see with Nick Diaz. I see much better defense. When I was watching Nick, mm, what, what impressed me about that was him in that in the corner, mm. kind of deflecting, moving. He just knows how to – he sees he shots He always does better. that. But he, he, there's no head movement. There's no footwork. But he, he a lot of those shots. shots were glancing. I was really impressed. But a lot landed, and he broke his nose. Well, and then he sat down and quit. Yes. <laughs> yes. But Nick was always pretty good at getting avoiding that stuff, you know. But he get he has fights of the nights and he slug out and that's what he's known for and you love him for it. That's why he has a fan base. I loved Nick because Nick I never saw Nick really get hurt. The only time I saw Nick get hurt was he got dropped by Paul Daly. And then he Dude, came he's back had by some that left wars, though. He's had some wars. He's had some wars. Had some wars. It's but, the business. Yeah. Again, you but, know, but also but also with with Nick, like that's the reason he was like, All right, I'm out. Yeah. Like there's there's no yeah, man. I'm out. I mean, how much can you do after a while? 
you see this stuff. You see it. Mm -hmm. What's interesting to me is you just see these wars wear on people, and they're warriors, but yeah. it just it just starts to give you either glass jaw or just it just you know. But that's the game, B. Unfortunately, the game. that's the game. There's got to be a better way to protect the people like that. You know? Tur turn into grapplers. What like like Nick Diaz has some of the best jiu-jitsu in the world. So, you know, for Nick, if he didn't want to eat those punches or save his brain cells, yeah. grapple more, dude. Yeah. Well, what's Go funny, tell Nick Diaz to grapple. What's funny about those guys is if you have two grapplers, they just don't fucking grapple. Mm -mm. They just stand They punch you in the face. Yeah. They're just like, I'm going to fucking <laughs> yeah. bang with you because I don't want to have but, you get positioned on me. I don't want to get tired. You might turn the corner and punch me in the face. But think of Brian stuff. Ortega. It's like he has such an advantage in grappling over Volkanovski. Right. But he really doesn't. He didn't attempt take that. Well, his really. coach said hit him with a blast double. Hard to do. Yeah. Or easier said than done with those fucking legs and all that. But, but think about when he fought Max Holloway. Straight yeah. striking one. He took so much damage. Yeah. So, again. So, to your point, the only way to, for you to be comfortable watching MMA is these guys need to grapple more. Well, someone like. Because that, that's the only way you don't get brain damage. Like, do you see Curtis Blades? Yes. I don't think. He, I mean, he could fight tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, that's when he got need in the fucking head. Well, that's like Khabib. That was like John Fitch. A lot of those guys just would fucking hold you down and punch you in the face. Mm -hmm. And I get it. It's not that exciting. You don't have a career, dude. Yeah, you're not going to get paid the big bucks. But with I mean, Ortega, Khabib did because he's so dumb. But with Ortega, dominant. his jujitsu is so dynamic. Even after taking that shit, I mean, that triangle he almost caught him with. That fucking the, the fact that Volnowski got out of that shit is nuts. Nuts. That's nuts. Us. Nuts. nuts us. I mean, he's just able somehow to do it. He's just made of different shit. But so I, if I'm if I'm if I'm Ortega's coach, I'm, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying use your fantastic your jujitsu is so flashy and special. Use that shit. Then again, Man. then again, the higher level yeah. guys don't really care. Mm -mm. They uh. just post up and punch you in the fucking face. You can't. You, you also got to be careful because you, again, dude, you got to crack some eggs, and make an omelet. If you want to make a million bucks, you got to crack some fucking eggs. Dude. Yeah. And you want attention? Yep. You got to crack eggs, and eggs is people getting punched and knocked out and receiving CT. It's literally the name of the game. Yep. The name of I the game. It. You know what? Intense. It might not be for me, for real. Yeah, I don't I know mean, what to I, do. I will it's, watch it's all the fights. <laughs> it's it's, it's going to continue yeah. with how you feel. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, there's nothing they can do. Me. It bothers me. Yeah, and maybe also do. these guys are, are just so much better at striking. It's what they work on with high-level coaches now, with boxers. I feel like they're hitting more accurately, harder. I don't know, man. It's I don't like, know mm -hmm. all that. I don't know. It's like they're better athletes, maybe. Maybe, yeah.